G'day folks, Tony again here for more of the jaunty saunterings of Gauntport the Taunter. Alrighty, so we have received a new quest to recover Commanding Icus Crab's friend at Bipia and recover it. The trick of course being that uh, while we have the quest to recover that thing, we don't actually currently know where Bipir is and it is not marked as any one of the many, many things here uh, on this map. So we are going to have to, uh, at least for the time being, continue on our merry way, uh, exploring other sites and doing other things and hopefully at some point when we're sharing secrets with somebody during a water ritual, uh, we may find out the location of Bipia. So we are going to venture forth here in a moment, but I think there might actually be a chest hidden over here behind this tree, and there is. Uh, so we're going to check that out before we go. Grabbing those lead slugs, grabbing that weird artifact, and definitely grabbing that copper nugget. Uh, so that was a good spot. Let's have a look and see what we have. Ooh. That's handy. A sniper rifle. 11 penetration, 1d8. It's currently empty, but you will notice there in the uh, in the tinkering stats, this is a BA14, so it contains a B component, an A component, a 1 component, and a 4 component. Uh, and of course, when you uh, when you do uh, disassemble something, my understanding is that it goes through each of those four components in sequence to discover whether or not you get it. And if I remember correctly. I believe that four may be the pristine electronics, which is one of the things that we need for modding things uh, to become a masterwork weapon. Uh, however, I'm not sure that I want to disassemble a sniper rifle because uh, an 11 penetration with 1d8 damage is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to chalk that one up as a well done us. Uh, and I think we might go and have a look around in another location. I'm kind of tempted to go somewhere further here into the jungle. We had a we had a fun time at Shursamore fighting all of those ants. So I'm wondering if perhaps we might go to uh, Shapar. So I don't think we've been there before. Uh, and it is close. Let's give that a go. Oh no, I should have checked that before. We <laughs> of course we're carrying too much to move. Uh, we just picked up a really heavy artifact. Uh, I really need to sell that plaster for jerkin. Do we have any components we can drop? We need 11 pounds to disappear here. Oh, I don't think we need all of them. They can just go. Uh, problem solved. Do we have anything else here that we could disenchant for a four? That electro bow might give us one as well. Uh, but nothing here has a five. Um, all right, and we could disassemble them as well. All right. I think we're good to go now. Indeed we are. Uh, so let's give it a try and see what happens. Greetings, Shapar. The map will tell us if we've been here before. It looks like we have. How's that for my memory, folks? Uh, let's perhaps go further into the jungle. What was this one over here? Uh, that's a goat folk village. Not terribly keen on uh, visiting them at this stage. What else do we potentially have? A Garden of Geth. Hmm. Any specifically named location is always uh, kind of of dubious quality. There might be some more forgotten ruins around here. There are a whole bunch of them that got... Uh, there's one. Although we may have been there before as well, but hey, let's uh, let's find out. <laughs> or we could wander the woods for a little while. Uh, perhaps a surefire way to stumble across something unusual. Uh, potentially have an unexpected adventure. Napthali Forager. This, they're always wandering in this... Uh, Wandering in this jungle, aren't they? They're just everywhere. I'm not even sure that we get all that many uh, 
experience points for killing them at this stage because we are oh boy look at them all they're just swarming swarming us oops well, we're going to take them down anyway seeing as they've gone to the trouble of troubling us uh, we will trouble them back is that beetle actually cranky with us it is not all right good let's try to keep it that way shall we so many big hits here on so many of these things uh pretty much none of which are actually giving us any drama whatsoever uh is there going to be anything worth picking up here i'm not sure <laughs> it seems that we've also been standing in just a giant pool of blood uh, presumably from all of these kills that we have made for ourselves uh all right oh there's another hello how are you a nice clear path here for us uh, just gonna make ourselves a camp because we are hungry oops uh, let's perhaps head along the road for a little bit longer oh they're everywhere so we're doing all of this here I think as I've mentioned before without really needing to use any of our spells to any great degree uh, and also, we're clearly able to take a, a lot more potential hits from people than we have previously. Did end up a little more bashed and crashed there by the end of that. Is there going to be anything worth picking up here? Fine wafers, sure. Arrows, yep, why not? Uh, all fuel for the fire. Let's uh, have a traipse along this, uh, this road for a little ways. See if we stumble across anything interesting. I think I saw a voider off in the in the woods there. Looks like there's a bunch of spiders coming at us. Uh, electrofuges, they can uh, they can be a little nasty with their zappy zapness. Are we going to get? Oof! Uh, that must have been a unique, and I didn't even realise it. How about that? What's it going to give us? Oh boy, look at that. An engraved scarlet shawl. Whoops. We'll certainly have a look at that for starters. 30 pound vine weave tunic. No, thank you. Ithri med. Uh, oh, we got a little bit more uh, lore there for that. That's good to know. Folded carbide short sword. I wonder how heavy that is. Let's pick it up and find out. No, we're still good for carrying. Um, I don't actually know if these sell for anything, but I'll pick them up and we'll find out anyway. Taking a few hits there, so I am just going to boost the toughness to be on the safe side because I believe there is a voider, or well, there was at least a voider here in the, in the trees. They may have disappeared, possibly be fighting that honey skunk. That was just a cave spider, so we appear to have cleft it in twain uh, in fairly short order. All right. Ah, oh, more of you? Were you following me from before? I guess it's not really important anymore. There's that voider. Ow. That was not a voider. That was a goat folk sower. No, sir, I don't like it. Uh, let's try and mark that target. Uh, that certainly seemed to hurt us. How many hit points are we on? Oh boy, not good, not good, not good. Dropping a chill on you, sir, uh, to take care of you. Uh, that was close. That was mighty close. Uh, it's definitely time uh, for some shooting. Whew. Look at that, folks. That was a mighty close call. That voider is still a fair way away. Is this worth popping a salve injector for? We've got four of them left. What's our cooldowns looking like? 45 turns. I can drop a force bubble on top of me just to make things a little less likely to be a problem. I think that voider might have hopped away. Uh, might have teleported itself out of sight. There it is back again. Maybe we can mark it. We can. 
and we hit it with some wounding fire and that seemed to take care of the problem. Don't think there's going to be really anything there to pick up. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they just teleported away once again. It's okay, it's getting hit, but it is also running. Damn you, damn you, Voida. You and your magic teleportations when you're in danger. What is this? Oh, that's the vine weave tunic. All right, so we've got some more goat folk coming through. They can merrily chase me as much as they want because I have it in for this voider. If I can find them, I've had enough. Done. A voider corpse that we can do nothing with, uh, but vengeance uh, has been mine. So super close call there with that. Uh, oops. That was unwise. Super close call there with that uh, with that goat folk sower, knocking us down to one hit point. Uh, that would have been a not a terribly uh, not a terribly heroic way for uh, for Gauntbort to go out. Is Naphtali just swarming out of the uh, out of the jungle at us again? That's a savage. Oh boy, they're everywhere. All right. It's time to get real here again. We're going to start dropping some spells on everyone. Just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of spells to try and uh, take the edge off when we're getting swarmed and surrounded here. This would be uh, quite nightmarish if you were to venture into the jungle earlier in the game. Uh, I can see uh, it would be very very easy to get overwhelmed with all of this madness. Even that Quillipede there not giving us as much grief as they used to. Alright. So now that I've successfully mopped the floor with everything here again, what else are we picking up? Lots of arrows. There was a nylon backpack there. I might pick that up. What are you going to give us, nylon backpack? Plus 10% carry capacity. Shoulder straps and a hip belt. All right. I assume we wear that on our... Oh, it's a body pack, not a backpack. All right. Well, I'm not going to wear that because it means that we're going to have to take our... Uh, going to have to take our current armor off. Oh, no. Gaunt board. Evil Gaunt board has shown up once again. Shooting at us from a long way away with that carbine rifle. Probably not the wisest idea, Evil Gauntbort, but uh, feel free to just keep wasting your ammo. Uh, it doesn't appear to be advancing across all of that tar at us either. Really, uh, really having a go at us with that carbine rifle. All right, um, they've done one Sundermind on us. I'm assuming that their force bubble is going to run out fairly soon, so I'm trying to make an advance. What is this up here? Kindle Thumb Novice of the Sightless Way. They are trivial. Hostile, but trivial, so that's fine. We're going to ignore them for the time being uh, because they are not Evil Gaunt Board. All right. You are right there, Evil Gaunt Board, and your force bubble, yes, indeed, is about to run out. So you've made your... Your first mistake, again, of the same mistakes that you tend to make uh, whenever I fight you. You are hard to mark, though, aren't you? You dead yet, Evil Gauntbord? You are indeed. Looks like they threw a uh, grenade at us. It uh, doesn't seem to have hit us, which is nice. We'll try moving through this tar. Slightly stuck. And these novices of the sightless way are now giving us some grief as well so we're going to take care of them also steel utility knife yellow boots uh, don't really have any need of any of that what is going on oh there's another one of you hiding in the bushes somewhere where are you come on now damn this night time whoa I guess it would be you over there setting the forest on fire. Done. All right. 
Now that that's all out of the way, I wonder if we can get ourselves unlost soon. Not too fond of the heavily overgrown areas, so we'll come back down this way and perhaps keep heading along this road. Ooh, a chest. This was all worth it because we found ourselves some goodies. Uh, another salve injector, always a welcome find. I'm going to have some more goat folk here. I am not quite sure why it's taken us so long to become unlost here, but I am getting uh, somewhat frustrated with just wandering through the wilderness here. Um, so let's pop ourselves out of here. By heading back to the grit gate, it's probably going to make that chem cell low. That's fine. Uh, they're fairly easy uh, to restore and repair. So let's do a little bit of trading, shall we? What have you got for us, Mafio? I have some things I would like to sell to you, that's for sure. A lot of these things looking kind of familiar. Spring-loaded chain boots. There's some really heavy dodge penalties there that we don't really want. Um, doesn't appear to be... That's a 1, 2, 3 for the recoilers, but it's a 4 and a 5 that we need for the things that we're after. Let's see if we can get rid of some things here. I'd really like to get rid of that because it's worth a fair bit of money. And it is also fairly heavy, I believe. What else do we have here for ourselves? 70 versus 400. It's, really a, it's just really not the same thing, is it? That's quite frustrating, I guess. We're just going to have to pass on that. See if Q-Girl has anything for us. Now this is more like it. Surely we can uh, surely we can carry those things around. So if we pop both of those in there for 500 and we can find one other thing here or, or a, a handful of things that are going to get us a little bit more along those lines. The Electro Bow, I kind of don't want to sell that though. Stops Valen, that would uh, be ridiculous and put us way overboard. Uh, but we do have a beaded bracelet. So that's going to help, and I guess we can pop all of those in as well. That's good enough. Good enough for me for that transfer. Thank you very much. Happy to do business with you. All right. Let's just check that we've got enough fresh water again. I think we'll, well, we're more than fine. So let's make our way. Uh, ugh. We'll make our way back upstairs once we get to a place where there are some stairs. Good. Up, up, up we go. All right, we made it. Good work, folks. Now, what were we doing again? Some forgotten ruins, all right? They're very close by, so let's go and see. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Looks like we may... Oh, no, we haven't. I don't think we've been in this area before. It's just a really open landscape. Oh, it's a giant beetle, not a beetle bum. So, of course, it's attacking us. How rude of you, sir. What do we have here? An empty canteen, a lead slug. There's some handy things to pick up here. Oof. Speaking of which, thank you so much. So, I guess we're going to try... Oh, a glow moth. Probably uh, worth trying to take these things down. If indeed I can. Are you hostile to me or not? You are. Guess I can't hit you from that far away. Or while you're flying. Alright, so many things we can pick up here. Uh, and a building here to investigate as well, by the looks of it. Ooh, with some stairs downwards. This may be worth our investigating. Let's have a poke around up on this uh, top level first. Uh, before we start dig, dig, digging down into the depths of the earth. Uh, this game, of course, is called Caves of Quid. But we have spent an inordinate amount of time on this uh, Let's Play, uh, sort of wandering around on the surface of the world rather than uh, delving into its depths. So maybe this is uh, maybe this is time to, to start changing that particular uh, habit that we have. Don't think there's too much more. 
hoping for a treasure chest buried in a corner somewhere, but most of the pickups here appear to just be little things lying around on the ground. Oh, look out. A rifle turret. Well, that was straightforward. Although there may be more of them around. We're picking up a lot of ammo here, which is nice. Can often be a sign that there are turrets around. Bandages, that's nice. Weird artifact. Let's have a look and see what that is. A thermal grenade. Nice. You can never have too many grenades. Vine wafers. Lead slugs. Shotgun shells. Empty canteens. Just a barrel of goodies here. Possibly some more things over here on this side uh, of the river as well. Silver nuggets. I love it. It's a bit of a treasure trove here. It's clearly something that we can see as a rifle turret all the way over there. That's stopping us from auto-picking up things. So we're going to make our advance on it. Looks like a couple of other fancy goodies here as well. Um, that's taken care of that. And we're back to auto-getting. Very nice. What are you? A small rosy tube. I am not entirely sure what that is, but hopefully we can examine it. Shade oil injector. Yay for us. I want to collect all the things just lying around here for free on the ground. Salve injector. Lovely. Nifty finds, folks. Nifty finds. I need to enunciate clearer. Nifty finds. I'm not getting fined for anything. I have been finding things. There's my dad joke for the episode. All right. I think that's nearly all of it. I spoke too soon. Let's uh, let's go down into this uh, into this cave and see what we find. It's going to take the long way round. All right, here we go. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, I did ask, didn't I? Um, Gaunt Bort, evil Gaunt Bort just doesn't seem to know when to quit. Uh, but seeing as they're right on top of us here, this is a little bit of a different thing from usual because they are... Oh, he's got his force field up as well. Very good. Because uh, they are kind of right on top of us. And where they're currently positioned, I'm not entirely sure that we can get through. So we're in the middle of a poison cloud. We're going to back away from that. Let's see if they follow us uh, up the stairs because it will be a little easier to fight them out here in the open. Haha. -ha. You've fallen into my cunning trap, evil gaunt bought. Here are a bunch of my friends uh, here to give you a hard time. Now you've done it. Oof, and you've given me a dose of my own medicine. Shots are going wild all over the place here. And I seem to be attacking some of my own folks as well, but that's okay. Ow, quit it. Using all the tricks on me, aren't you? And now I'm frozen solid. That's uh, that's no good. Two can play at this game. Ah, oh, evil gaunt board. You're covered in blood. You're not actually badly damaged. I, I have made a foolish error. Uh, let's try chilling you as well. Uh, we're going to have a look at you and see how you're at here. All right. Saying that you're fine, which I believe means uh, that you have probably boosted your toughness, and I'm not really sure that you've done that before. So while I can life drain you, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> now we're frozen solid, uh, just sort of staring at each other. I'm going to pop a force bubble. I think now I'm going to wait. I'm going to see how you fare. You seem to have unfrozen yourself before me. 
Ha ha, we got you. Very good. Now it's simply a matter of waiting until we're all better. Done. Whew. Now, what could possibly go wrong? A little bit of that poison cloud still hanging around. I'm not quite sure how that works. I think we were uh, up on the surface for a fair while. I can see another set of stairs that we could uh, head downwards there already. Just waiting for this cloud to clear out. By pressing the next turn button. Alright, hello. Oh, more ants. Is this what it's going to be again? An Achitinus Puma. It's just popped out of nowhere here to have a go at us. Uh, so let's pop the force bubble. What on earth was that? I think there might be a chain gun down here somewhere. Uh, from that sound effect that I just heard. How are we doing for lead slugs? We have 260 of them. Alright. Ah, and there is indeed a chain gun turret all the way down there. Let's see if we can get rid of it. We can before our force bubble runs out. But where there's one, there may be more. Uh, I'm also a little wary if possibly in this part of the world and in this dungeon there might also be some lurking Beths. I know how I've mentioned that before, but they are mighty nasty things. Uh, and they can undo you very quickly, particularly uh, when you have a low hit point pool. Luminous Horseshrooms are one of the indicators that they might be around. Uh-oh, a Cloneling. The head and torso of the Cloneling are comprised of skull-sized hexagonal pyramids of polished chrome. Four many-jointed chrome rods swivel from its core, wielding rusty scalpels. And another hangs limply, the Cloneling's genetic nanoprinter. It's equipped with three scalpels. My concern, of course, being uh, that it's going to lop off some more limbs, which is definitely not what I want. So we might uh, keep a, cl a close watch on those uh, on those things if there are more of them around. Getting glopped with uh, lots of goo here. I think it might also be time to make ourselves a camp so that we're not hungry while we're wrangling with all this stuff. So those stairs downwards are real close to uh, to where we came through. But I do want to have a poke around here on this level first. If nothing else, just to get a sense of, of uh, potentially what kinds of critters there are going to be around here. We do have a little bit of fresh water a little bit further down there, which is nice. Not that we particularly need fresh water at this point. And in fact, it may actually end up grabbing. Uh, we may actually end up automatically grabbing and woof. How about that? Uh, Orchenea Orthunia, legendary Glomoth. Uh, so it's, <laughs> love it. It's clearly down to the south. There's also a uh, there's also a slumbling around here somewhere. So maybe if we can get further down that way. If there is indeed an easy way through there. I'm wondering if that might perhaps have popped something on uh, on the surface level map for us as well. Because I don't think there's a simple way through there. There is not. All right, so that's on a map for later. Uh, anything up here? Oh, hello. So yes, that glow moth cave will be on a map for later. And we can potentially have a look at it. Uh, but as I was saying, I like to scour this level first just to try and get a gauge or a sense of uh, what kind of critters or creatures we, uh, we might be likely to encounter. What's further down here? Oh, hello. A Dawn Glider. So uh, how will Gauntbort fare against this Dawn Glider? Uh, as we continue our way down uh, through these caves well we're going to have to wait to find out because that's all the time we have for this part of the let's play thank you so much for tuning in please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be notified when other episodes are released 
And uh, please, please do tell a friend, give them a personal recommendation to uh, check this out if you think they might enjoy it. And come back again soon for more of the jaunty saunterings of Gauntport the Taunter. (laughs) 